Warning, this video contains some actions that may not be safe. Please be cautious and we claim no responsibility for any injuries obtained from following the instructions presented in this video. Hey guys, in this video we're going to be showing you how to make a Jacob's Ladder, which is basically a curved spark gap that is shaped like a V. So basically how this works is an arc is generated, and then as the air between the anode and cathode ionizes, it becomes more conductive, and because hot air rises, it'll naturally rise up, and with it, it will keep arcing because the gas is ionized and only in that place. So it just rises up, up and up repeatedly. It's very satisfying. In order to build your Jacob's Ladder, you're going to need a microwave, some duct tape, a scrap piece of 2x2 two two wood, a nail, a coat hanger, or a stiff rod, a scrap piece of wood to mount your Jacob's Ladder to, and a screwdriver set that can unscrew the screws on your microwave. To build your liquid cooling system, you're going to need some flexible tubing, some thermal paste, a 12 volt pump, a liquid cooling block, some zip ties, your Jacob's Ladder and transformer, and a 5 gallon bucket. First thing you want to do is you're going to open your microwave and take out the plate plate that's in there, and the little rotor thing. You don't need that. And then you're going to flip the microwave over and you're going to start removing these screws here. So any screw that you see, just remove it. So I've removed all the screws that I need to remove to get this top cover off. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is just go ahead and pry this cover off here. That is your high voltage transformer down there, which is what we're going to be using. So this is the high voltage capacitor here. In some cases they're not discharged. So what you want to do is you want to discharge them safely. So Ollie's going to go ahead and pull the leads off the capacitor using a pair of pliers. And just to make sure that it's completely discharged, just going to stick the pliers between those two contacts. Yep. And now we know the capacitor is safely discharged, we can finish dismantling the microwave. Because we're going to want to unplug everything. Also, you're going to want to save this cord here, because that's what we're going to use to hook up the transformer to the wall. So what you're going to do is you're just going to remove all the plugs that go to this power cable here, and we're going to save that. So that So the next thing you want to do is you're going to want to remove this big transformer here, which is the one we're going to be using. So go ahead and remove all the screws that are holding it in place. And in some cases, the screws might be on the bottom of the microwave. You can flip the microwave so that it's face up like I did. Now, the microwave transformer that we're going to be using is extremely heavy. So just be careful and hold it in place while you unscrew the last set of screws. Okay. Okay, so now go ahead and remove the contacts that are connected to one of the coils on the transformer. Please note, do not take off this wire on the transformer when you're taking the transformer out of the microwave. You're going to need this for later. Okay, so I removed all the contacts on my microwave transformer, and now that it's free, I can set that aside. So now the last thing you're going to want to do is just remove a few wires from the microwave that you're going to use to hook up the Jacob's Ladder to the microwave transformer. And preferably, they should be long, but if you can't find long wires, that should be fine. Okay, so I have a wire here, and you really only need one wire. So now you have all the parts that you need to start building your Jacob's Ladder, and you can set the microwave aside for now, and if you want, you can remove more parts for future projects. Okay, so there were a lot of zip ties on my cables that came off the microwave transformer. So what you want to do is if you have any zip ties, just clip all the zip ties until there are no zip ties left. How this works is these two leads here, they hook up directly to the wall power. I'll show you how to put your power cable on these two leads here in a second. The coil that transforms the electricity into high voltage, one lead of that coil is connected to this casing here. So that means the casing is grounded. And then the other wire comes off right here. So my transformer came with a fuse attached to it. And we don't really need a fuse. So you can either take, uh, if you have a fuse, you can either take off the casing and harvest the fuse, or you can just cut the wire. And that's what we're gonna hook up to our Jacob's Ladder. The wires that we're gonna be using are this one and a wire that we're gonna hook up to the case here. This wire here and this wire here, we don't need. So we're not gonna be using these. And you might wanna keep these or you can just clip them off. I'm going to keep them on because I might use them for a future project. How we're going to attach a wire to the casing is we're going to have a nail that comes in this little hole here, which your transformer should have, and then we're going to wind a wire around the nail, the wire that we harvested from the microwave right here. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to take your nail and you're going to pound it in this little hole here. Okay, 
Okay, so that's pretty good. I kind of bent the nail, but that's okay. So now that our nail is rounded to the casing of the transformer, we're gonna take our wire and we're gonna strip it at one end. We can go ahead and cut off this little thing here. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and strip this wire, okay? And now that we have some wire exposed, we're gonna go ahead and wrap that around the nail. So then you're gonna go ahead and take a piece of duct tape and just rip off a piece, about that long. Okay, and then you're gonna to wanna to wrap it around the nail so that the nail isn't exposed. Now that we have both our wires attached, we can cut the other end of the wire that you hooked up to the nail. So cut off this little piece here. And then you're gonna go ahead and strip this end of the wire. For this wire, which is the other end of the high voltage coil, you're gonna to wanna to strip this wire also. So now our transformer's almost done. All we have to do is hook up power to the two other leads. So take your power cord, which has the green wire, which is ground, the black wire, which is live, and the white wire, which is neutral. And you notice that this power cord has these two connectors here, and you don't want those connectors. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna use wire cutters or scissors of some kind to basically dismantle this plastic coating here. So now that my plastic coating is cut in half, I can easily take these wires out of this plastic casing here. So after you remove the plastic casing that was on these plugs here, you're gonna go ahead and turn your transformer like this. It doesn't matter which way you attach them, you're gonna attach one of the wires over one of the prongs here. Just like that. And then you're gonna attach the other one over the other prong, like that. So in order to ground the casing, you're gonna turn the casing on its side. And then you're gonna take a screw that held the bottom of the casing to the microwave. And you're gonna stick it through the wire lug. And then you're gonna use a screwdriver to screw it in to this hole right here. Make sure it's nice and tight. So there you go. So now your casing is grounded and you have power hooked up to your transformer. Now you're gonna take your coat hanger and you're gonna go ahead and unfold it. So I'm gonna cut this long piece of coat hanger wire into two one and a half feet pieces. So I left a little bit of room on each piece of wire and that's for attaching it to the scrap piece of wood here. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna sand down the wires to get rid of this white plastic coating that we don't want. If you want, you can use a piece of sandpaper to do this or you can also use a rotary tool. Be sure to wear safety glasses while doing this. What you're gonna to wanna to do once you have your co hanger sanded is you're gonna to wanna to take it and we're gonna lay it out on our board here. So the end product should just kinda of look like that, but we need a little base to hold it in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our pliers and then we're gonna bend our coat hanger right at the base here so that it's at a 90 degree angle. And then you're gonna take the base here, like halfway from the base, and you're gonna bend it around in a U, like that. So then that is gonna be mounted like that. And now we have to do the same to the other wire. So now that your wires are like this, we can start to attach the transformer to these two rods. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna wind one of the wires around the base of one of your rods. And then you're gonna use a little bit of duct tape, about that much, and you're going to put it around the wire. Then you're gonna take your other rod and you're gonna do the same with the other wire. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and attach the other rod so that they're approximately this close at the base, but you can adjust this length depending on what works in your scenario. Okay, so now that the rods are attached, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna bend them so that there's a little bit of room at the top and it's a little bit wider than the bottom. Now a common mistake is that people make the top way wider than the bottom and then that doesn't allow the spark to travel all the way to the top. So we're gonna start out by making it just a tiny bit wider than the bottom, like that. So I hammered a nail into the end of the scrap two by two here, and this is gonna act as our way of starting the Jacob's Ladder. We found that when using our transformer, it got really hot. So we decided to install a liquid cooling system to cool the transformer while it was running. So let's build it. Okay guys, so the first step is to attach the hosing to your water-cooled heat sink. Okay, for this step, we're gonna need the transformer and the zip ties. If there's a sticker on your, the top of your transformer right here, you need to take that off, take one of your small zip ties, and you're gonna put it under the transformer. And then, you're gonna take another one of your zip ties, attach it right here, so it's nice and tight. Then you're gonna take a third zip tie, and you're gonna put it over here, through the other end of the zip tie that's underneath the transformer, okay? So now, you have this set up here. 
Next, you're gonna need your water cooling block and your thermal paste. You're gonna apply a liberal amount to the top of the transformer. Then, you're going to place your water cooling block on and rub it around to make sure you get all that nice thermal paste on there. And then, you're gonna take your zip tie, and if you can do it with just three zip ties, that would be the best option. But if you need a fourth zip tie, you can use it. Now that you have your water and cooling block installed, it's time to move to the next step. You're gonna take your pump. This here is the outtake. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hook up one of your tubes to the outtake here, okay? And then that's your pump setup. And then in the final setup, your pump is gonna be uh, in the bottom of the bucket. These wires are gonna run to a power supply, which I have here, which is gonna be 12 volts. And then you're gonna have the output from the water cooling block running into the top of the bucket like so. Now it's time to test it. So in order to test it, we're gonna need some safety equipment. We're gonna need to wear some thick gloves, like gardening gloves. We're gonna need to wear some safety glasses. Sunglasses will do. And we're gonna be using the wood stick that we had last time for starting the Jacob's Ladder. Okay guys, now we have our setup. So, how it's gonna work is we have our Jacob's Ladder right here. We have our chance form right here with our water cooling block on top. We have our pump inside the bucket. We're just pumping water through the hose into the water cooling block and then back into the bucket. Here we have our 12 volt power supply which is powering the pump. You're gonna wanna make sure that your pump is pumping water and that there are no leaks. Hey guys, Ollie here. Um, and so basically, just so you guys know, these cannot short. Please make sure that those do not touch. If they do, the amperage will spike very suddenly. So we are currently using a power bar which has a breaker switch, which means if the amperage suddenly spikes, it will cut the power. Please use a power strip for your own personal safety. So right now what we've done is we've taken the Jacob's ladder here and we've bent it so it kind of like gently curves upwards and then very suddenly and we're gonna see how well this works and we're gonna try out multiple formations and see how it goes. So we're gonna turn off the lights here so you can enjoy the show.